All right, everybody, welcome back to another GoLHU.com exclusive. I'm here with head cross country coach Aaron Russell. His team is headed to the NCAA championship Saturday. Coach, thanks for joining me. As we head into NCAAs on Saturday, um, I know it's been a goal for this team all year to get back there to the championships. Just talk about what it means now that it's a reality. Well, uh, you know, another important piece of that is that I have four seniors who are in scoring positions. So they've been there um, a couple times and kind of fell through with what their goals were. Um, as freshmen, Matt Guillaume and Dylan Mountain both were at this course, so it, it's kind of come full circle for them. Um, and it, it, it'd just be a huge way for the, this team to go out to have you know one of our best performances ever. Thanks, Coach. Uh, you know, you mentioned uh, some of those seniors. You know, we'd be crazy if we didn't talk about Dylan Mountain. Dylan Mountain, just an unbelievable season. He cruised to the title at the conference championships, uh, put the field away early at the regional championships. Talk a little bit about where he is right now, his confidence level, and what he wants to do on Saturday. You, you know, his goal from the from the start is he, he's all about trying to win the title. Um, you know, anything short of that is is not something he's considering. Um, we'll see where things fall. He's looked amazing in workouts uh, since you know conference he dominated regionals he dominated and he's looked better than ever the last week or two that we've been training so. great thank you you know we talk about this team being really deep and talented uh matt Guillaume, you know you mentioned him uh, fourth at regionals uh, you've got some guys that have the ability to really step up and i think they uh they shine under that bright spotlight so just talk about who else you really think could have a big race on saturday you know definitely matt it'll be his last cross country race he's come so far in his career i think huge things are out there for him he's uh he's one of those guys the bigger the occasion the more he steps up. Um, Addison Monroe was a little off his usual game at, at regionals. Um, he's definitely capable of being All-American up in the, that top 40 for us as well. Um, and really any, any other guys in there are, are capable. Um, you know, Jacob Fetterman, Alex Diltz, Ben Robinson, all have been steadily improving all year. So, um, you know, they're a mature, experienced group, and I, I expect them to really step up to the occasion. Uh, you know, the course in Joplin, Missouri, uh, typically known to be a rolling, relatively fast course. Uh, what have you guys been doing to prepare for that? We've been training for this race all year. Um, it, it works out that our course is fast as well, but we, we've spent a lot of time over at West Branch um, really working on the speed, working on uh, the turnover, uh, things like that. So these guys are prepared. Uh, there's, like I said, it's an added bonus that some of them know the course. Um, and then the other pieces, there's some tight turns, uh, but I think the course at Slippery Rock, even our course, have some, some turns that we're used to doing, so, so those things all play into it. Great, thank you. All right, so before I go, I have to ask, I hear some of the guys are uh, sporting some really sweet mustaches. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the mustaches? You know, um, that's an interesting, interesting question you just threw at me there. <laughs> um, if, it, if they run fast and it makes them more comfortable, then I'm all right with it. Um, you know, if, if we go, go to Missouri and bomb, then I think the mustache era is over when Maddie goes. All right, so if uh, <laughs> they don't run well, the mustaches are coming off, but hopefully they're good luck for the guys this Saturday. NCAA Championships, Joplin, Missouri. Look for more information later this week at GoLHU.com. Coach Russell, good luck. Thank you. I'm extremely proud. I mean, Chippensburg is a great team. Um, obviously, we believe that we're better than them, and they believe that they're better than us. Uh, so we were kind of stuck at a stalemate the past two weeks, or I guess three weeks, Peace Axe and Regionals, um, where we got the best of one another. And I guess it's going to culminate to you know who puts out the best effort at Nationals. I think that our team definitely has the better shot, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I just got to leave it all out there. As long as I give my best effort, I feel that I can't be disappointed with the outcome, whether it's first place, whether it's, you know, 100th place, it doesn't matter. If I give everything I have on that day, then that's all I can ask. Uh, first of all, I used uh, the atmosphere that we had. Our fans came out in a large number. Um, to be able to run in that atmosphere is just something that I've always wanted to do. You know, so nice. Uh, my mom also came down from Maine see me run cross country for the first time in college. So that was something special. Um, and then just going out there with my teammates uh, next to me and to see Dylan Mountain out there in front really got me going and just moved up with the pack. Uh, go out there in good position. There's a lot of talented people out there, so I can't get stuck behind big packs. So I just put myself in good position and know that my teammates are out there doing the same thing to uh, get our team high finish as we can.